The official report into the Grenfell Tower fire has concluded serious shortcomings and systemic failures by the London Fire Brigade may have contributed to the death toll. 72 people died in the blaze which engulfed the 23-storey tower on June 14, two years ago. The report found fire crews should have reviewed its stay-put strategy sooner. But Commissioner Danny Cotton says she will not resign despite being criticised in the report. What's been important for me and continues to be important for me is that we are putting steps in place to change things. We are learning. We've identified our own areas that we've been concerned about way before the inquiry. It's important for me that I continue to protect the people of London by putting those steps in place and developing London Fire Brigade. And by resigning now, that would not happen. Survivors and family members have called for the London Fire Chief and other senior officers to be prosecuted over the inferno. Laura Bundick has the latest. Many of them had feared that this report would be a whitewash, that some of the big institutions mentioned uh, would be let off the hook, if you like. But I think very much there is a sense that that hasn't been the case uh, due to the forensic detail of this report, the very detail looking into exactly what happened on that night. I think what was difficult for the families uh, reading it, though, is they read the names of their loved ones who were caught up in this, who in some cases had lost their life. It's this feeling that the report is so critical of that stay put policy. Lots of questions now as to why that, that strategy wasn't abandoned sooner. And the difficult question for a lot of the families is if it had, of course, been abandoned sooner, would that mean that their loved ones hadn't lost their lives? Now, one woman who spoke with great emotion today was Flora Nedda. Now, she had lived at the top of Grenfell Tower. She's one of only two people to survive from the 23rd floor. Her and her son managed to make it out safely that night. She'd lived in the tower for 20 years and she said as she was descending that night in the stairwell, she came across 20 or 30 people making the reverse journey. They'd been told by firefighters in whom they'd placed that tr their trust that night to come up, that they should go to the top of the building, that they could be rescued by a helicopter. Flora said it was difficult for her. She said, I know this building so well. I knew that that would not be possible, but still they made their way upwards and Flora and her son managed to escape but Flora lost her husband who stayed behind to help others so there is a sense that of course this frustration that if that stay put policy had been revoked had been rescinded earlier then we wouldn't be dealing with so many lives lost